everyone, I'm Elise and I'm here today with another Gutenberg tutorial for you. Today we're going to be looking at three different plugins that add some additional blocks to Gutenberg. We'll be looking at stackable, atomic blocks, and otter blocks. Each of them has a number of different blocks they add, so today we're just going to look at the blocks they share in common and compare them. They each have an accordion, post, notification, testimonials, and profile blocks. First, we're going to take a look at the different accordion blocks. Each of these plugins adds their own section to the Gutenberg menu. Under Stackable, you'll find your accordion block. Here you can add a title for your, this accordion section and then add your content. If you want to add another accordion section, you would need to go ahead and add the block again. In the settings for this block, you can adjust the heading color, the heading background color, and determine whether or not you want this accordion to be open from the start. So now we're going to go ahead and add the atomic accordion the same way we did the stackable. Just like with stackable, you have a section where you can add your title and your content. You would also need to re-add this block to add additional sections. In your settings, you can adjust your font size and determine whether or not this accordion should be open by default. Lastly, let's take a look at the Otter Blocks accordion. You'll see this one already starts out a little bit different. It goes ahead and gives you three different sections for your accordion. Again, you can add your title and content to each of these areas. And then if you need to add a new accordion section, instead of re-adding the block, simply click the plus sign at the bottom of the content area. The settings for this block include your font size and whether or not you'd like to have a drop cap. You can also adjust your color settings, both the background and the text color. Now we're going to take a look at the post blocks for each of these, starting again with stackable. As you can see, when you add this block, it automatically generates your post. Over here in your settings, you can adjust your design. You can change how the posts are ordered. You can select a specific category to pull these posts from and you can control the number of items shown and the number of columns. You can also determine whether or not to display the title of the post, the post featured images, the post excerpt, category, date, author, comments, and whether or not to display the continue reading link. If you've enabled the featured image option, you have choices on how to display the image. If you enable the option to display the continue reading link, you can also create your own custom link here. This block in atomic blocks is called your post grid. And you'll see that it looks very similar. Again, you can adjust how your posts are ordered, what category the posts are pulled from, the number of items to display, and the number of columns. You can also choose whether or not to display your featured image, your author, date, excerpt, and the continue reading link. Just like with Stackable, you can adjust the style of your featured image and create your own custom read more link. While overall I've been very impressed with the OtterBlocks plugin, this one lets me down just a little. When I tried and add the post grid to my content, you'll see here that I get an error. If I preview my post with that block in there, you'll see that it does display and pulls in your post. However, in all of my testing, I've always gotten this error. So if there are any settings to go with this, I'm not sure what they are. Next, let's take a look at our notification blocks. Stackable creates a large color block where you can enter your own content. You can change the notification type and your options are success, error, warning, or information. Each of these is going to change the background color of the block. If you'd like though, you can go ahead and customize your background color and your text color. In your settings, you can also determine whether or not this notification would be dismissible by your readers. The notice block in Atomic Blocks gives you a spot to put your title and then the notice text. You can adjust your font size and just like with Stackable, you can determine whether or not this is dismissible. You can also customize the notice color, title color, and text color. 
The Otter Blocks Notice Block allows you to enter your notice text, and then you can change your styles. Your options are success, information, error, and warning. Each of these plugins also offers a testimonial block. With Stackable, the testimonials block gives you a spot to enter the testimonial, add an image of the person, their name, and then their position. So in this instance, they have founder. In your settings, you can adjust the number of columns to display, your body text, title color, and then the position color. The testimonial blocks for atomic blocks lets you add your testimonial text, an image of the person, their name and title. In your settings, you can adjust your font size and whether the person's information is aligned to the left or to the right. Then you can adjust your background and text colors. Again, the Otter Blocks testimonial block is going to let you include the same information as the other two. What does make this one a little bit different is it by default has three columns, plus they make it really easy to add additional testimonial columns. When changing your color settings, you can change the background color of the entire block or just each individual column. The last blocks we're going to look at are the profile blocks. Technically, these aren't all profile blocks, but they are pretty similar and I thought they were worth taking a look at. Stackable actually has two blocks like this. So first we're going to take a look at the team member block. This looks a lot like the testimonial block. You have a spot for the person's image, their name, their position in the company, and then a description about the person. In the settings, you can adjust the styling of the images, the number of columns, and your color settings. The stackable card issue, again, is very similar. You're just gonna start with an image, the person's name, and then their description. We also have in this block the option to use a button. So you can add a link here and direct them to maybe this person's personal page, social media, whatever you'd like. In Atomic Blocks, this is actually a profile block. So again, this looks a lot like their testimonials block. You have the person's name, title, profile information, and their image. You can adjust the font size and the shape of their image. What makes this one stand out a little bit is the social links option. If you add links to that person's social media, it will display in the bottom of the profile box. In Otter Blocks, this is the About Author option. You'll see this one automatically generates all the information for you. This information is pulled from the person's profile on your site. So it uses the display name, the biographical info, and then the profile picture. So this is all created for you. So that's just a quick overview of the stackable Atomic Blocks and Otter Blocks plugins. Again, each of these have a number of different features available. And if you check out the link in the descriptions, it'll take you to a post where we have a full comparison chart showing the different blocks in each plugin. So thanks for joining me today for this tutorial. Again, if you have any suggestions for tutorials you'd like to see, please add them to the comments. We'll see you next time.